Now, just looking at this, uh, we do have these H2O ports. This is for running coolant lines to the wastegates. Looks like they fit this smaller thread pitch. So if you wanted to run those, I, guess I would imagine it's uh, in and out. But I'm not doing that. And surprisingly, I guess they don't have any block offs for the, uh, the H2O ports. So looks like we just have these five millimeter bolts that are to block off the air. Um, so you'll put these wherever you want. Um, actually, it'd probably be better. It's probably gonna be best to mount these to the headers first and then figure out where to block off the air ports. As far as I've seen um, with the FA20, external wastegates. People are using uh, these two. One will actually go to the boost controller. And then the other one they're using here. Um, this, this you don't run into anything if you're running to atmosphere, which is what I'm doing with my setup. So you can leave this open or you can leave, uh, put one of these uh, valves in, I guess to keep it cleaner um, and point it down or back however you want. So I guess that keep will keep it a little cleaner in there. And then we're only going to be using one of the air ports and then I'll block off the rest and tighten it down with this five millimeter Allen key. Guys, so I've grabbed one of the wastegates and I've got the longer uh, dump tube on the wastegate already. So the way these came, that's the smaller one of the two clamps, uh, V-band clamps. They came already with um, uh, whatever you weld on to, to clamp. So I've removed the clamps, or I've removed this shim from both of the clamps. Um, I'm not using those. And there are no shims with this dump tube to the wastegate. So the shim that came in the wastegate stays in there. And pay attention to the orientation of the way the bolts are. Um, it's pretty important. It's a really tight squeeze in here. So as you can see, the header, uh, the header tube where it meets the engine is pointing toward me. Um, this is a flange that is uh, closer to me and these bolt heads or I'm sorry these bolt holes right here for the header are uh, the ones that are closer together so that should give you some orientation now make sure you have the shim in here this you just put it up here and clamp it from the rear this is the bigger clamp that came with the kit so it's a it's pretty tight fit in here, and you got to kind of squeeze it real hard together. And then you go in here and tighten it all up. Um, just gonna get it finger tight right now, and I'll worry about clamping it down a little later. Went ahead and found some thread locker I had left over. So for the air ports that have been plugged, I hit those with the thread locker. Um, we've got our air valve that is going to our boost controller right here. Um, for reference, tile is, is right here on the side. Um, the MVS port is right here, so that should give you a reference. That one's been plugged as well. And I think, this is a pretty good orientation for the clamps, the V-band clamps. Um, I'm gonna have to double check that. Um, let's see, if I add, if I put something here, you know, I've got enough clearance where the header meets the turbo. Uh, actually, I can fit that off the car, so that'll be even easier um, to make sure and verify that this orientation is right before putting it on the car. So far I've got the V-band clamp um, 
pretty much parallel or uh, linear with the header here. And I'm going to go ahead and, and tighten those down. Oddly enough, the Allen bolts that came with the V-band clamps are 3 16 and <laughs> the nut is 8 millimeter. So whatever happened there. <laughs> anyway, let me get these torqued down. Again, I'll uh, double check torque specs later, but I'll just go with the gluten tight for now. Get these clamped down. Uh, again, these are subject to change. Since it's not mated to the car, and I have no reference, point of reference. And be careful with these nuts. They seem like they're aluminum. Pretty soft. I'm going to use some thread locker on this MVS port. Start off with that, plugging it up. There we go. Again, that's five millimeter. So this is the uh, flange. Actually, I don't even know if this is really a flange, um, but this coupler or whatever it's called, it stays in the wastegate and we'll end up removing these flanges. from the V-band clamps. Okay. Seems like it's a little easier so far to mount the uh, dump Seems like it's easier so far to mount the dump tube to the wastegate and then put it on to the header. Go ahead and plug up the rest of our air holes. Thread lock everything. It's pushed in. And let me get this out. Alright, I'm trying to find out a good mounting point for these. Uh, seems like... Let's see how I can get these on here. And everything kosher. Uh -huh. Wow. All right, that's going to have to go like that. These V-Bot clubs are tough. <laughs> I don't like to go together. There we go. Push it. Push it real good. Oh, gosh. That seems... Oh, I need to angle it different. The uh, dump. Oh. Okay. 
So, seems like a pretty good orientation for... Uh, we're gonna find out. That's pretty good. Stick straight out from the header or parallel with the header. Hopefully I'll be all right. Okay. Looking pretty mean. Getting there. Ended up moving the air valve to this side closer to the header and the air plug on this side of the dump tube. Um, this is going to be right where the J pipe is, right here. So moving it over here gives me a little more clearance. Ooh. Swing. 